I'm going to pick up on church. I'm going to say, come on, Lee, look at what happened to church. I mean, I'm not the only one. I mean, there's there's all kinds of shit going on. I mean, they're, they're like coming right here. These people actually came on, like they, they contacted me, okay? Um, and and I'm not going to spin it out too much more than that. I'm Here's the thing. I'm just guessing they're from Watterson, but they acted like they were. They they talked like they were in on the whole like election thing. And and they 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 uh and they they tried to like get information out of me, but I didn't tell them anything. I didn't tell them anything about you. I didn't tell them anything about about Julian Dunn. I dropped the name. Right? And there. he doesn't, and he, 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 that doesn't phase him as like being oh, out of place that you would have said. Right, right, you know. right. I'm, he's, I'm, he's I'm, like, I'm acting, well, I'm talking like an insider. I'm yeah, like dropping yeah. names and stuff. And like, yeah. um, I was terrified. I was so scared they were going to mention Lena, but they didn't. Um, and they wanted, they wanted me, the Zag has to talk to them. Amos has to talk to them. Okay. That's what the mess, that's why they left me alive. I mean, they, they, I, I was swear they were gonna kill me, like and just like leave me out there for you to find. That's what I thought. But they, they, they get the end. They gave me this message. They said Amos has to meet them, and he has to meet them at, um, I don't know the, the what is it called? Um, give me a restaurant name, John. I need, I need your setting intuition for the location for this cafe place. Um, it, it's, uh, I need it. I, oh, it's the Granite Lounge. Granite Lounge. That's perfect. Who the hell calls their place the, anyway. Um, so. <laughs> Bulwark, um, Bulwark in its, the olden days was known for its, uh, making in like the, in like its industrial time made known for making steel appliances that looked like granite. That's why. Sorry, man. You Eastern I'm people are weird. Was, That's all I have. I was to say. derailing. Um, so yeah. we, uh, okay, great. Yeah. So at the Granite Lounge, he's he's got to meet them. Oh God, what time was it? What time did they say? What time? God, I can hardly remember. Just it'll it'll come to you. Just relax. You, if, if you've tried to force right. it. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll 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 like try and breathe and rest a little while and say, okay, okay, I remember, and I'll give him the the full information. Yeah. So that's that's the deal. Um, so okay. I get that, and I make him repeat it back to me by saying things yeah. like, uh, "I'm not sure." Did you say it back? I'm not sure. I got that right. You know. Um, and- and yeah, and he's he's got it. And he's actually like in this mode. This is something he can do. Like he's right. He's right. Mm-hmm. he's parroting back what you told him and like putting it in like his speech. But he's 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 got it, and he's making a coherent. You know, he's accidentally even like covering up sort of any little bits. Like he's making it kind of more coherent and more right forceful. Right. Like he's cleaning it up. Right. right. Okay. Um. There's only one wild card out there that I'm super fucking worried about, and I just do not dare mention the twins to him. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like saying their name is just going to... That's probably a good instinct. So um, so I'm real... So yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, So he's like, you know, he's like... Okay, that's that, that's what we got to say. I'm going to I'm going to let I'm going to fill Mr. Z, Mr. Zag in on all of this. And uh and uh we'll 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 move forward with the operation. You know. Um and so he will he'll he'll call back Zag. He calls him. I think he'll call him and he'll call him in front of you. Like there's he's not trying to hide this from you. You know, they're you know, yeah, you're the ins, you're an insider as far as Lee is concerned. Um, and he'll, he gives the story, you know, he does a really good job, you know, with, with this and kind of Zag has, obviously has some questions and he repeats a couple of things a couple of times, but it's pretty clear it gets across. And I, I don't know if, 
I, I think it's reasonable for me to point out, and this is just sort of um, like, uh, like, some, sometimes it's fun not to reveal this stuff, but I think I would like to point out here just because I think it's interesting that if we think about what the different NPCs know, um, they did know who Gratitude was and knew that she's involved somehow. And they know that she was friend. It's established that she's actually friends yeah. with Watterson. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. that, that, that was like a, a connection. So, so mm -hmm. it is actually... Um, Whereas I was just grabbing the only thing that yeah. I could think of that would be adversarial. And right. and so for them, all of a sudden, it is coalescing into this organized conspiracy that, you know, now this makes sense. Like this right. sort of what, what now all these things sort of start to make sense. And, and the um, fact that Julian has effectively disappeared. Yes. Yeah. 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 So so all of these things that they were sort of worried about or um you were kind of like loose ends all of you know all of a sudden you you know willie's handed them this explanation and so mm -hmm. it and i think it's like like one of those things where like even if there are sort of holes in it or if like they stop to think like hey, does that really make sense because they've given this explanation to what had been a mystery like they they're really going to grab onto it they're going to be yeah. like oh this now we got it so mm -hmm. so i think that's just sort of What's happening in the background? By complete chance, gratitude seems like this very efficient killer. Like it's it's I. Uh, yeah. she's happened uh, to be played by one of the more enthusiastic killers. So <laughs> yeah. I just don't think you can blame it on <laughs> gratitude or statistics. That's just yeah. my take that's, for that's... what that's worth. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, well, so anyway, I'm I'm ready to call it. There's a couple of, of roles I'd like to make, but I don't need to make them right this second. Can we see maybe what's going on with gratitude? Yep, I think so. That's that's that sounds good. And um and so we'll 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 close off on Willie for tonight, but we'll pick him up at the uh, you know in getting red like Zags on board with this next stage of the plan mm -hmm. for the meeting. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll we can we can move ahead with that. Um. But gratitude. Um, so as I mentioned, like, so, so yeah, you fall into this intense sleep. And I'm always interested um, in, in does she does she remember any dreams from this? Like is like, you know, um, what. You know, what's uh, or, or, or not, I mean, or is it yeah. just this sort of black hole? I think realistically, if you're this tired, you can remember some, but they're kind of weird waking dreams, like where you maybe were awake for a second, but the world was very unreal. Um, like maybe she, you know, she was up for so long and she's in such a crazy state of mind that she could have like sleep, sleep paralysis or something. Like, like that. Cause I think that, that makes a lot of sense. I actually think um... that that's probably what happens. Cause I know like a couple of my friends have experienced it and, Usually it was because of extreme, you know, mental turmoil or not, basically not sleeping for a while. So because I think she will then have this experience of, you know, being in this little room, this unfamiliar room with the, the door open and Frank kind of in the doorway. Um, yeah. But it is, oh. but it isn't, but it isn't real. And yeah. as she kind of comes out of this deep sleep, it's just the, the desk clerk again, sort of like gently shaking her. Mm -hmm. um you know uh but but um i don't know if you've ever woke tried to wake someone up who's in a really really deep sleep but it takes yes. like a while yeah, yeah i recently had to do this and it was very annoying um yeah so she yeah. probably you know is annoyed and angry for a while yeah. and doesn't remember it right when this person yeah. is yep. waking her up so there's that context too for this person you know just another piece of like holy shit let this end for me mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. so it is yeah and again like putting the pieces together like wait who is this like why is she mm -hmm. bothering like why is she shaking me and she's not being rough but you point out right. a good thing is like she's it's like this sort of gentle but then persistent and then it's sort of like I, you do actually have to move someone a bit like you can't yeah. just kind of tap them if they're that you sleepy can, so. you need to tap them pretty hard if you're gonna tap yeah them. she, she yeah. doesn't want to do that she's so so, right. so she is like she, she doesn't realize that you know you really need the sternum slap to like get him up quickly. But uh -huh. 
so she'll she'll be like jostling you right. um and so eventually so eventually you'll co- kind of come to and i think i think she would be like more um i think she would be uh sorry um i think she would be more like she's starting to get worried like that's the thing like it's like oh you know like i i've I, you're turning into a pain in the ass and yeah you know, no totally yeah, yeah. So, and so she she kind of came in to st- and started waking you up still in a very sort of like somewhat nervous but basically helpful yeah. but by the time you're like she, gratitude's finally conscious and everything and able to talk she's definitely like like listen i i, I think i let you sleep too long my manager's almost here um you know uh I, um, I, uh, got you, you know, I brought you something else to eat and, um, you know, I, uh, um, you know, you, you can, and you can take my coat, my overcoat. And so she gives you that. Um, but, uh, but she says, but I, I, I just don't think I can keep, keep you here without, without them, you know, Yeah, gratitude understands that she's kind of like grappling with understanding sentences, you know, but she she understands coat food and she says, you know, she's like um and and go ahead. Oh, and then, and then she'll say and the the you you were right, the guy that you were with the the guy that you were with came back um you know, he, he went right up to the room and then he was down very quickly. He was like asking about you, asked if I'd seen you, he got very upset. Um, he said something about talking to the police. Um, and, and then he, and then he left in his car. He hasn't, he hasn't been back since as far as I know, but he has, he has the key to the room. So he doesn't have to go through the lobby. Um, but I don't think he's been back. He hasn't, he didn't come back to the desk at all. Yeah. Gratitude says, thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I, I guess I'll go in and she kind of like stands up and she is probably feels worse than when she went to sleep because she probably needed eight more hours of sleep than she got. So she like, realistically, she probably feels far worse. She's probably hallucinating a bit, like in the corner of corners of her eyes, there's probably a little flickering, you know, whatever's. Yep. Um, but she's going to ask to be brought to like the entrance where people would leave to like take out the trash and stuff, do, like oh, do, yeah, like yeah. Work or stuff like that. And then for, for she's sure. gonna, she's gonna say, you know, um, if you would just tell me, you know, directions to, you know, she's basically again, she's gonna go and take a bus somewhere. Yep. Um, and you know, this is the real world so she she isn't concerned that the police are somehow going to be checking everyone who's entering her bus or yeah, anything yeah, like yeah. that um so that's what she's going to do now i think there could be a role about can she actually be lucid enough to find her way in a city that she's never been in in this state and or, I'd be interested or in i hate to say it if frank outfoxes her yeah i think that's fair like i think because i think those can go together like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I think that makes it's, sense. It's scary. So, I want so her. To, you, I want her to escape. So you have one. Uh, so you've got. Um, so so you know she gives you the directions, and it's not. It, it is not that. It is not that far uh, to the bus station from from this particular um, hotel. Yeah. But again, yeah. this is not a city where people are like walking on the streets. So it is like any single, any person kind of just like walking along the streets for long distance is sort of going to maybe call a little bit of attention to themselves. Like, or not, not call attention, but like you can't hide in a crowd. That's what I yeah. mean. Like yeah. it's, it's not abnormal, but you can't like hide in a crowd to get there. Right. Um, and uh, it is evening time now. So it's the fall. So it's starting to get dark. So you've got that going for you. Um, or, in terms of hiding in terms of like, but, but maybe not in terms of like finding your way or like being able to yeah. navigate it without fear. Um, 
so those are the things in play as you kind of start to stat, you know, kind of make your way out into this alleyway and then down and start kind of following her directions to how to get to the bus station. And you do have the coat over you, which does make your, at least your, it's not a disguise, but it's not the last thing like Frank saw you in. So yeah, exactly. Uh, so I, I will, I will give you based on that, like you've got the, you, you, you you've got that uh directions and everything else i will give you three dice because i think you did hey. you, you're 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 capitalizing on that that's the, the support of that person too um so i'll give you three dice yeah and i don't have a trait that's relevant here because i just added dice to desperate violence because i was kind of expecting this is not more violent. of that but this is not violent at all um but i have five pool dice and i will gamble all of them um because <laughs> i dearly love gratitude and i need her to escape This is cool. oh, I see three ones. Oh my go. god! So, yes, so I want to take the monologue of victory here. I think you want to. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, so I think really? yeah. gratitude is stumbling through the city. Like the lights are, you know, the lights are like shattering her mind. You know, she's like mm. kind of covering her eyes, and she eventually makes it to the bus station. But it takes her like an hour longer than it should have. She gets there by asking, like basically asking like random people like for a little bit of help and um some like one particular like homeless woman or like actually points her in the right direction and mm -hmm. gives her like a bottle of water and gratitude yeah. is like sipping this bottle of water um yeah and she arrives at the bus station and i think you know i mean i don't know how much i can do with this monologue of victory but i think she's going to get on a bus to a city with like a person that she knows who lives there. Cause I think we had talked about this like last session, yes. like, yeah. you know, she, people know people in places. So I don't know, maybe, I don't, I don't know how much I can, like, I don't know how I can say it. Right. Like, I don't know what I can say, but. I, I think it makes sense to say, yeah, like we said, like she would know other people. And like, I, I mean, I think you, you could even say like who that person is in the sense of like, you know, you, you figure like someone has lived this many years, they know some yeah. people, right. You know, you know, people you're close to, you know, people that you used to be close to, you know, people yeah. who are in different kind of spheres of, of life. So yeah. I think you'd have some opportunity to like, say who, who would you be aiming for? Um, yeah. So right? I that think I like the idea that she is going to, I'm picturing her being about 26 years old. And she's going to go to her mom. Like, her mom lives oh. in a, um, like, a, like, um, like a Somerville or a Cambridge type yep. of place where not in the heart of the city, but, you know, in a, in a nice area like that. Her mom is kind of like a, a person who's, whose life is based on normal society things that don't get you Killed. in legal yeah. trouble. Right. And she has a stable income. And I'm going to say, like, you know, I want a bit of, like, contrast here with every other relationship here. I think Gratitude and she have a surprisingly just normal relationship, just, you know, strained by the fact that they never see each other. So she's heading to this other city. She's on the bus. Um, is, is this kind of she's drinking her water. at all indicative of Gratitude reflecting upon her life choices? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's thinking about her mom and she's thinking about like interacting with that person who helped her, who even though they like got a little annoyed with her, actually helped her and gave her that coat. And she's like thinking about the last time she felt that was her mom. Right. And she's like, I got to because I think she was probably considering, oh, I'm going to go stay with this person. They'll set me up. You know, they'll get me. They'll get me back in the game, man, or whatever. Yeah. No, she's like the moment that that person gave her the coat. She got thought it. of her mom and she's like, I got to get, yeah, I got to yep. get, got to get home. No, that yeah. makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. So bust to mom. Okay. Um, mom. so, so that, that makes sense. Um, I, I have to sign off sort of soon now, but I think those are good spots to end. Yeah. We can pick up the discussion about scheduling maybe on, on chat or we can figure, yeah. figure that out. That um, sounds good. But great game, guys. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, this is great. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah. See you, see you around. See you, Sam. Bye.